Hello, my name is Mark McElroy and I'm a physical education teacher here at Chaparral Middle School. This year I have four seventh grade classes and one eighth grade class. A little bit about myself, I graduated from UC Irvine. This is my 25th year teaching. 22 of those years have been here in Walnut Valley and this is my 12th year at Chaparral. During those years, I've coached uh, a lot of different sports at a lot of different levels, um, high school, middle school, elementary, all different levels, volleyball, football, basketball, baseball, track and field, a lot of different sports. Uh, my, here's a picture of my family. My wife is a PE teacher at Walnut High School, and my daughter is a cheerleader at University of Nevada, Reno, and my son is a junior at Braille Linda High School. This year, we'll be using Google Classroom for PE. Um, that's how I'm going to communicate with kids. I'll post the Zoom links there. Any work that they submit will be submitted through Google Classroom. Expectations. Uh, expect the students to be to their class, their Zoom meetings on time, and they need, need to be dressed appropriately in some comfortable athletic clothes and shoes. We will be moving around during PE class, so they need a little bit of space in front of their computer that they can do some exercises and some, some different movements. Uh, also, I expect them to follow directions and the class routines and class rule or school rules as well. Um, grading. Each day of PE is worth 10 points, and they will receive those 10 points if they're actively participating and prepared for class. On top of so that's 30 points a week because we have three days of PE per week. On top of that, there may be some written assignments, tests, um, video submissions, and things like that that will, will go on top of those 10 daily points. Um, the virtual classroom rules, these listed here, I'm not going to go over each one of these. I will put this uh, up on my Google Classroom, but these are pretty standard for all the classes here at Chaparral. Um, just acting appropriately when you're um, in class, um, making sure you're following the rules and things like that. So I don't want to go over all of them. Make sure they're treating each other respectfully. Don't share the the Zoom links with anyone else. All right, uh, typical day in PE, three days of PE per week. Two of them will be block days, which are 80 minutes, and then one six period day, which is 40 minutes. An example of a typical day, there'll be attendance taken every day, and there'll be warm up exercises or warm up activities every day. That can be some different stretches, dynamic stretches, static stretches, could be a little cardio, we will be moving. Um, and then depending on the unit, we might demonstrate a skill. Obviously, um, the kids aren't gonna have all the equipment that they normally would if we were in person at Chaparral, but we're gonna be creative and make do the best that we can. Um, and so I'll demonstrate a skill and then they'll probably have some time to go and practice that skill. Uh, we also do plenty of fitness activities. We're gonna be doing stretching and uh, weight bearing activities as well, strength activities. So be a wide ver a variety of things that we'll do. And then also there will be some written work, uh, Flipgrid, Google Form surveys that they will turn in as well. That's probably not gonna be every day, but uh, they will have some written work in PE. All right, makeup work. If they are absent, um, they need to make up what they missed. And the way they do that is uh, through the makeup work tab that's on my Google Classroom. There are two different types of makeup work. They can do a physical activity or they can do an article report. If they're um, injured or sick and they're not able to do a physical activity, then the article report would be the best bet. Um, the makeup work can be turned in at any point during that unit or that grading period. Doctor and parent notes. If your child is sick or injured and unable to participate in PE, you can send me an email, that's fine. Parent note is good for up to three days. After three days, if they're still out or injured, then we would like to have a doctor's note. 
And then on that doctor's note, it can include things like what they're able to do. Maybe they can do some modified stuff or when they're able to return to PE fully. Okay. Well, it's going to be a different year, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that uh, everybody is going to stay healthy and we're going to be definitely be active and creative. But uh, I'm excited about this year. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation. If you have any questions, you can email me and uh, I'll get right back to you. Thank you.